Tesla has just hit all time high. Everybody's celebrating, everybody's jubilating. But one thing is at the back of many of our mind is Tesla is going up way too fast, hitting $1,100 per share and then dropping drastically down. So the question on mind is, is it time to take profit, lock it in and buy on a dip? Hello, welcome back to Family Investment. My name is Dr. Alex Ko, and I love speaking about Tesla. I own tons of Tesla. My kids own Tesla and they're rocking all time high. Back in April, I said Tesla would hit 1036. That was my magic number. Expectation came way ahead of time and it was all good. All down to the 100,000 locked in vehicles ordered by Hertz. Very bullish. But as retail investors, what should we do? Before I go into the nitty gritty of what I will be speaking, my valuation, my technical analysis, my forecast for 2025 and what I've done, I just want to give a shout out to my sponsor of the video today, which is StockCut.io, a tool that I use especially for this session to help me decide if I should sell Tesla because it's overvalued or is that overvalued and what I should be doing next and what details in the technicals and also the PL that I should be looking at to showcase Tesla's performance for what we stand just now and moving forward. Not only that, I have my own personal portfolio for the next 10x stock. But end of the day, StockCut.io is my go-to day-to-day tool. Apart from Yahoo Finance, this is where I go and get drilled down into the details. So if you're interested, click on the link below. So now let's use StockCut.io, which really brought me to this situation or the dilemma. Is it time to sell? Because as you can see, StockCut.io tells me that Tesla is a great stock. Look at the three green ticks that is just telling me great management, great performance, great value stock. Great value? Wait a minute. It says overvalued stock. That's what really pulls up. So if you scroll down overvalued stock and also there's an indicator, there's a change that really jumps up to my face telling me, say, Alex, you need to be aware of this. So in this update, as you can see here, is the management effectiveness. So something called management effectiveness. I'm like, how do stock cut door? I own So then you drill down, you click on it, you drill down and you see there's a huge red alert there. That means ROE, return on equity versus benchmark is on the bad cycle. The net profit over your equity per share, it just shows that it's really bloated. I says, what is going on? Showing the automaker's market cap for Tesla versus everyone else. This is how much it's worth, $1 trillion. And if you merge all the last eight big companies, Toyota, Volkswagen, Daimler, GM, they are worth less than Tesla itself. So it shows the return equity, the net profit that Tesla makes is way less than this car. And this companies out of this eight produce way more vehicles than Tesla as it stands just now. Maybe not for Ferrari. Next, I want to touch on a technical analysis because things don't yet just go up, up and up. But then with Tesla, it's just breaking all rules. So I plotted this on a Fibonacci retracement back on Thursday and also telling me saying, let your winners run, Alex. Don't sell it because floor was 1,100. And guess what? It actually hit 1,100 today and then it started dropping. So it did touch that point. If Tesla breaks 1,100, 100, what is the next floor up? So the next floor up, if Tesla does maintain this, perhaps in Q4 or Q1 next year, more better earnings, we are looking at 1,380. Let me check, 1,380, that's the next floor up for Tesla. But then think about it, things don't just go up, but what if Tesla comes down? So I need to go back to my old chart again. If Tesla doesn't break the 1,100, it doesn't sustain it, it comes back down, it will eventually drop to 890. That's where the last floor, last all time high is. Why institution investors might be going greedy time, take some profit, or they cannot own more than 10% of Tesla in a specific stock. All right, next part. I want to go back to stockcut.io because it really jumps up about the overvalued of Tesla. So if you click on it, it's all red. If you go on the detail, fair share price estimate, it's all red. Estimate price using 3 peer PS, analyst price target is just way overdue. Even with all the new price target announcement, we still can see that Tesla about 25 to 28 multiples, it looks very, very overvalued. But So I like the community and I do borrow some of their work and Gary Black is one I do borrow and he's got a very good forecast for 2025. So credit to him, I'm using his forecast to implement all my intrinsic calculation. Excel spreadsheet here, he goes up to 2025, Tesla adjusted EPS, he's around about 34. This year, 2025, 34, 5 million vehicles produced by Tesla. No problem. This doesn't even account for robo taxis whatsoever. But let's be realistic. What we have is what we gain. And if you put it into the system, EPS at 24 with, I reduced it to a 40% growth rate. I've reduced it. That's being a bit more realistic. And it still comes up to 3152. That's my magic number for Q4. 
2025, Tesla will be way over $3,000. And what does it say to you? Not only just a trillion dollar company, potentially it will be a three trillion dollar company. That's how scary in the next under five years. That's now it comes to the real question dilemma for you retail investors. Okay, everybody's different. Everybody's got a different risk appetite and everybody's in a different situation. So I've got four scenario here. So if you're a long-term investor, you like Tesla and money's not an option, you don't, have, you don't need the money just now, then you hold. You don't have to do anything, you hold and just enjoy the ride. Option is you might be a very smart investor, you've been accumulating and you've experienced and you know a bit about option trading. So you can get into option covered calls that you can do. You know, you're not gonna get dividends, but option covered calls potentially at 1,100 call or 1,300. Who knows, you might do some option cover calls and make some money at premium on the side. So if you're an option trader and you hold up to Tesla, then well done to you and this is what you should do. And number three, you might be an investor who's gone all out, okay? Gone all out, everything is at all time high, you get a bit worried and you're short on cash as well. So what do you do? Short on cash makes you worry. It's not the stock going up, it's the short on cash. So always be prepared to trim profit. You don't have to sell Tesla. You can sell out 20% of your Tesla. Stocks, you might be in US, you might be Brazil, where it might be accounted for. So something that you have to think about, swing trading, you have to watch for a tax implication as well. Or the fourth one, really, just don't do anything. Don't look at the news, don't look at the stock, don't let it panic, don't do anything. Invest it for long term, do not do anything. No different from number one, but if you're one of those that panics on the news, then don't look at the news, throw your phone away and don't do anything. And just enjoy the ride and get back to your life family and also your day job. But the real question that you guys must be asking before I end this segment is Alex, what did you do? What do you do, Alex? Tell us, tell us. Okay, let me be honest. Let me be transparent with you. Like I always do. I have taken some profit. As you all know, I've gone all out. I bought AMD, Coinbase. I've gone all out. About three to four months ago, I've literally gone flat out every single penny I've thrown it in. And now, I've got no more cash. I'm looking at opportunity to take profit because I think it rose too high, too fast, hitting from 900 all the way to 1,100, too fast. I still think that Tesla is 3,150 at end of the year 2025, but I think stocks do not just go up. It comes up and down. So I'll be patient. I took 25% profit. I sold 25, literally. I sold 25 Tesla of my own personal. I've not touched any of my kids. And I've just sold to profit, retained some cash holdings, raised about 10% cash in uh, in my portfolio and then see what happens, maybe buy on a dip. But then I've already got plans. If stocks does dip, I've got options to buy AMD, Tesla, Coinbase, Darktrace or Tesla. So I've got this five home that I'm focused on, the hand of God. And I will just see which one I buy. With cash, it's king. Cash helps you sleep. So I've taken some profit trim. And if Tesla drops to 890, boom, no brain, I will buy it straight away. And if it drops a bit more and I've got cash, I'll buy even more. Because that's how high my conviction in Tesla. But for now, taking profit is a bit wise sometimes because you could go sideways for months. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an expert. I am just an expert on managing my own funds. I'm an expert on managing my own emotional risk. This is where I am and I hope you guys understand. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that segment. Remember to sponsor my video at stockhut.io and thank you guys very much for it pick a link below if you're interested in a vip account and you get a discount with my code referral below but other than that join me on patreon and also you can join me on thursday which i'll have segment on live spot we always feel free to leave a comment and click the like and subscribe and hope to see you soon i hope you enjoyed that video check out our website link below more videos up here bye, bye. bye.